From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday's top stories. No need to be concerned about a direct hit from the first hurricane of the season. We may get some showers and maybe a thunderstorm or two from it, but else is going to pass well to the south and west of us within the next couple of days, probably as a tropical storm. The storm impacting western Cuba now, it has been blamed for three deaths already. Ministry of Health officials have confirmed that four more persons have died from the coronavirus. The latest victims, all women from the capital, three of them in their 50s, the other in her late 70s. The death toll is now 250. Sunday's numbers, 39 confirmed cases. Cases spread over four islands, 29 in the capital, the other 10 between Grand Bahama, Abaco, and Bimini. There's still a lot of corona work for health care workers. More than 600 active cases are still out there, 38 of them in hospital, 5 in the ICU. Vaccination is the key to controlling this virus, officials believe, and we could be getting more doses soon. Prime Minister Minnis has announced 33,000 more doses will be in country this month sometime. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Prime Minister Minister on another matter. I want to encourage you all who need to register to do so in the shortest possible time. The right to vote, this was fought for by our founders. We should not take it for granted. The Prime Minister making that comment at a church event he attended over the weekend, adding to speculation that he could call an early election. Police releasing more information on its latest officer-involved shooting incident happened here in the capital in the Coconut Grove area. The police report says officers were called in response to reports of two men carrying weapons in the area. Officers engaged the men. They ran. One of them ended up pointing a weapon at officers and they shot him. He's in hospital. The other suspect in custody. The matter is under investigation. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather Update, a service of insurance management, weather associated with Elsa in the area, mostly cloudy, some showers around, highs in the upper 80s, 88 at Freeport, 88 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet, high tide now, the next low around noon. Mostly cloudy skies in the area tonight, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s, showers could still be around. Forecasters continue to track Elsa. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We are now in the hurricane season. Insurance management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. Monday's World News headlines the Cuban government evacuates close to 200,000 persons ahead of the arrival of Elsa, likely as a tropical storm as it crosses the island today. There are fears that heavy rain could trigger mudslides. The deaths of three persons, one in St. Lucia, two in the Dominican Republic, are being blamed on the storm, the earliest fifth named storm of the hurricane season on record. Elsa's approach to Florida also forcing officials there to bring down the rest of that collapsed condo. There's still more than 100 persons not accounted for. The death toll officially at 24. Tribune's gas tracker prices to start the week. No changes. Shell 509, SO 507, Rubus $5.01 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Get the latest on the Davis Cup team playing in Panama. Results of the National Cycling Championships in the Tribune Sports. Meet the champions. Latest on Major League Baseball. A tough loss for Giles of the Marlins against the Braves yesterday. 
and he hurt his ankle, will be out for some games. The Bucks and the Suns ready to go in the NBA Finals beginning tomorrow night. There is a preview. John Quell and the Sun lost to Indiana in the WNBA yesterday. Read the details about that. Get the latest on the Euro Soccer Tournament headed into the final week and preparations for the Olympics. Final preparations now just weeks away in Tokyo. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. <laughs> 